Hi everyone, in this video, we discuss tutorial simple harmonic motion, question 11 and question 12. For question 11, a particle of mass 1 kg undergoes a simple harmonic motion. Okay, so they give you the mass and potential, its potential energy you change just with displacement x from a fixed point as shown in figure 9.5. Determine the amplitude. So they want to find amplitude A, the period capital T, okay, and then velocity. And the last one they ask you to calculate the force. <clears throat> so here it states specifically that this is a potential energy. But let's say if the question doesn't state that this is a potential energy, you can ask yourself when you have this kind of graph, does it make sense if it is potential or kinetic example over here and this one actually it doesn't state whether it is a spring or pendulum so you can imagine any any of those let's say we imagine that this is a spring so if this is a spring then we are talking about uh, spring potential and kinetic energy so at the center over here you have a maximum velocity or maximum kinetic energy and at the end over here so this is a recap eh? a little bit of recap so at the amplitude let's say positive a and negative a you expect to have a velocity equals to zero all right so when velocity is equals to zero that means k is at a minimum which is zero eh? If k is at 0, then you expect u to be maximum. So from the graph, you can see that it is actually a u shape like that. So it's potential. So another way of memorizing things is that if the energy shape looks like a u, that one is a potential energy. Anyway, back to this question. They want to find the amplitude. So question A, that one is the easiest one. From the graph itself, you can see that the amplitude is equal to 0 0.15 meter since this one is the maximum displacement. Okay. Double check the unit. Sometimes they might use this one as in centimeter. Question number question B, they want you to find the period. So you can refer to your formula sheet. And then I think this one would be in equation 43, if I'm not mistaken, where u, given that u is equals to half m omega squared x squared. Okay, since we are talking about potential energy, this is one of the formula for the potential energy. I mean, this is the only formula for potential energy in simple harmonic motion. So, you can take one point let's see if i take 0 0.15 over here right so this one represent the values for x displacement then my u would be equals to 18. so i'm going to plug it inside the formula it will look something like this 18 equals to half the mass is given which is one kilogram we want to find the omega first Okay. and then you can find the period using 2 pi over t so here would be 0 0.15 because we choose 0 0.15 if you calculate omega we should get omega equals to 40 radian per second okay and then from there you can calculate the period Omega is equals to 2 pi over t. So your t would be equals to 2 pi divided by 40 radian per second, which is equals to 0 0.16 second. Okay, I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. Put it over there. For question C, they want to find the velocity of the particle when x is equal to 0 0.1. Okay, so 
they want to find the velocity over here so normally you would relate velocity with kinetic energy and since they give this one in potential energy you can quickly calculate the kinetic energy using conservation of energy where e total is equals to potential energy plus kinetic energy okay the total is basically when either kinetic or potential is at a maximum which is over here and here it is 18 joule so 18 equals to u plus sorry you know u which is 8 and 0 0.1 so your kinetic energy simply 10 joule okay once you get the 10 joule you can find the velocity using kinetic energy equation where k is equals to a half m v square which is equals to 10 so your v is basically 10 multiplied by 2 and then divided by the mass which is 1 and then you take the square root so this one is basically square root of 20 which is equals to 4.47 okay again this one is for question c and i'm gonna make it smaller as well so that i can have enough space maybe i can do it over here oops all right okay for question d they want to find the force on the particle when x is equals to 0 0.1 you can find the force using f equals to m a and since your a is actually equals to neg is it is actually negative omega squared x but i choose right omega squared x okay and then if i take the position when x or displacement when x equals to 0 0.1 then my equation would be mass is 1 omega is equals to 40 radian per second from question b and then x here would be 0 0.1 and don't forget to put the square over there so square press your calculator so it will be 1600 my force here would be equals to 160 newton Okay, that was for question 11 for question 12 this it says that on the same as this sketch graph to show the variation of potential kinetic and total energy so basically this one is very similar to the one that i show you during lecture or tutorial previous in our in our previous class first of all you just draw the axis okay make sure you label the axis so here put this one as energy it will be in joule as a unit and this one that says our displacement in meter okay then you will have your a positive and a negative I just try to roughly okay maybe I can label that one first so it will be negative a and positive sorry and write a okay and to draw the potential energy we'll have a u-shape like in previous questions so i just make this one a bit I try to make it a little bit nicer And then this one is for kinetic just like sorry this one is for potential 
so i think it's best if, if you can label that one straight away and then for question b they want you to draw kinetic energy so obviously it will be in this opposite direction so opposite shape of the kinetic wheel should use this one instead Okay, then the last one, okay, this one is kinetic energy, so I label as well. And then the last one will be the total. So basically, that one will be the maximum. So I just label it over here as my E total. Okay, maybe if you really want to show, then you can draw the line like that okay let's say if you have the values uh, any value that you can substitute inside this graph you have to substitute okay so example you have to substitute a and total energy okay just label it over there i think that's it for this video thank you mm -hmm.